Today on the Bigger Pockets Ask BP podcast, we're talking about how can a shy, introverted person be successful with real estate? Stay tuned. You're listening to another Bigger Pockets Ask BP podcast, where you'll hear short, direct answers to your biggest real estate questions. Submit your question today on Facebook, Twitter, or the Bigger Pockets forums by using hashtag AskBP. And don't forget to pick up your copy of The Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Real Estate Investing and other great content when you sign up for your free account at biggerpockets.com. With that, let's get to the show. Hey, what is going on, everyone? My name is Brandon, and you are listening or watching the Ask BP podcast. Uh, today, we are talking about introverted people, people who might be a little more shy, not as outgoing, not willing to jump up in front of a camera and talk like I'm doing today. People that are a little bit more subdued, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. There's nothing at all wrong with being shy and introverted. In fact, you'd be probably shocked to know that I am a fairly introverted uh, person. In fact, uh, Josh Dorkin, CEO of Bigger Pockets, makes fun of me for this all the time because I will go to like a, a BP meetup or a, a party of some kind and like I just kind of like sulk in the corner. Not sulk, maybe that's a bad word. I don't know, like I just withdraw to a corner and I'm much more uh, at home with two or three people in deep conversation than I am in a big group. Uh, I'm also terrible at handling like, contractors and, and dealing with confrontation uh, because I'm a little more introverted. And so uh, how I think I can I can speak to this pretty well because it's something that I have had to deal with throughout my whole life. And if you are in that same boat, hopefully I can help you today. Uh, so the question the question actually comes from Randy uh, from Resaca, Georgia. I have no idea if I just said that name right. Resaca, Georgia. And Randy asks, what is the best way for a naturally shy introverted person to be successful with real estate? Well, Randy, I want to cover a few different things. Uh, first of all, you got to pick your niche and your strategy carefully. You know, not every niche, not every strategy involving real estate is going to be right for everyone. And I always say that you should try to find that perfect melting point between maybe your own personality, your location, uh, your financial, uh, I don't know, backing. Uh, you know, there, there's a new, numerous things that all come together to make a perfect uh, investment for you. And so certain things like, for example, I mentioned it earlier, I'm not that good at dealing with contractors. As a result, I'm not a great house flipper. You know, I like house flipping. I wish I was great at it, but I just recognize my own weaknesses in life. And dealing with confrontation and bugging contractors and, and keeping them on task is not something I'm very good at. And so as a result, when I flip houses, I have one of two choices. I can either, uh, you know, hire a th somebody else to help me, like a project manager, or I can just, you know, try to do with it the best I can. And that's usually what I do, and it works out okay. But my budgets usually go a little bit over. My timeline's a little bit slower because I'm an introverted person. Uh, that is why I'm so much more drawn to rental properties uh, because I don't have to deal with. Uh, aggressive contractors all the time. I mean, I still deal with them with rental properties, but it's a little bit different. Uh, also, the idea of when you own rental properties tend to, you know, use property managers a little bit more often and you factor that into your costs. And so you don't have to deal with the tenants or the contractors directly. You just got to deal with the property manager. So instead of dealing with lots of people, you're dealing with one or two people instead. So that definitely pick your strategy and your niche carefully and don't assume that every piece of real estate is equal or every strategy is equal when you get into real estate. Secondly, I want to encourage you to compensate with competence. So they can compensate for your, your introvertedness or your shyness with competence. In other words, the more you know the material, the better you'll feel about uh, in interacting with it. So, for example, you know, I know a lot about um, real estate, right? So I can get here and I can just talk in front of a camera or into a microphone for a while because I'm very confident with teaching about real estate. And so I, even though I'm a, I'm a shy guy, a little bit more quiet and, and you know, introverted, I can step out a lot further because I'm so comfortable with the matter of what I'm talking about. And so I want to encourage you to do the same thing. Whatever it is you're trying to get into, become an expert at it. You'll likely become a lot more open and less shy when you're around uh, the matter that you are intelligent about and that you can speak freely about. So keep that in mind. You can compensate with competence. And then thirdly, invoke the third party wherever possible. And I mentioned this already a little bit in talking 
talking about the property manager, but when you are shy or introverted, you can actually use a third party a lot to get your point across. Maybe you don't like the confrontation. You know, you can always be like, yeah, sorry, I, I can't rent to you. Uh, you know, my partner doesn't like that idea. I mean, they don't have to know your partner's your spouse or whatever. You just, my business partner doesn't, doesn't allow me to rent to people that have a criminal background. It's a little bit easier when you have that third party, somebody else you can shift the blame onto. Uh, you know, for a long time, I didn't even tell my tenants that I was the owner. I mean, they never, they, when they knew me, I was a property manager. They didn't know I owned the property. A lot of my tenants still don't know that I own the properties because I don't broadcast that out. I just, I'm a property manager. That's what I do. I manage these properties. They don't have to know that it's mine because by doing that, I don't have to deal with the confrontations that might go with the owner, uh, with them knowing that I'm the owner. And so it's just another avenue. I find that third party as much as I can. I try to utilize the third party to my benefit, whether or not that third party is completely physically real, like a property manager, or whether they're a little bit more implied, like the fact that I am a property manager and the owner is some jerk rich guy who nobody likes, right? So like that's the impression that a lot of tenants give. So I'll let them have that impression and I just clean up around here. So, and then fourthly, if that's a word, fourthly, fourthly, remember you, you don't have to be shy your whole life. I mean, here's what I'm trying to say about that. Just because you are introverted doesn't mean you have to be that way for the rest of your life. Now, there's nothing wrong with being introverted, like I said. However, keep in mind that you are not one thing forever because that's what you are. You are what you tell yourself. You know, I just got finished listening to a book on Audible uh, called The Magic of Thinking Big by David J. Schwartz. I highly recommend it. A very good book, just about like mindset and success and and thinking bigger and thinking, changing how your how your mind works. Anyway. And one of the things in this book that they talked a lot about was the idea of you are the way that you talk. So, for example, let's just say somebody says, hey, uh, you know, Bob, if that was your name, Bob. Hey, Bob, how are you feeling today? Oh, I'm feeling okay. Well, guess what? As soon as Bob says I'm feeling okay, what does Bob feel like? Okay. But here's what the book, The Magic of Thinking uh, Big said. They're like, just say right now, and maybe you can do this practice with me. If you're in your car or wherever you are right now, go ahead and do this with me. Say, I feel incredible. Say just like that, just like that. I feel incredible. Like, and actually, like, put some emphasis in it. Not, I feel incredible, like I know some of you guys did. I feel incredible because you can't say that without feeling a little bit incredible, right? Uh, so, when somebody asks you how you're doing, if you say, I feel great, I feel better than I ever should. You know, like by having that attitude, you will naturally develop those feelings. So the reason that I bring that up is because the same thing applies with introvertedness. If you say, oh, I'm shy and introverted all the time, guess what? You're going to be shy and introverted. If you say, I am bold, I am bold and I am outgoing and I'm the life of the party and you say it with meaning and conviction and you say it enough, your mind will naturally develop those skills in you. So you don't have to be stuck with whatever you think that you are you're not that way forever. So if you want to become more bold and outgoing, start pretending. Pretend that you're bold. Pretend that you're outgoing and act that way and pretty soon you will be. So hopefully those four tips, again, I'll review those real quickly. Pick your niche and strategy carefully. Compensate with competence. Invoke the third party whenever possible. And don't accept the fact that you're shy and that it can't be changed. So with that, we got to get out of here. Today's success quote comes from Bono. You know, Bono, the musician, the world, here's what he said. The world is more malleable, is that a word? Malleable? The world is more malleable than you think, and it's waiting for you to hammer it into shape. I love that because so so often we think that the world is how it is, and that's just how it is. But no, the world is like a big pile of clay, and you can do what you want with it. Uh, you can forge your own kind of like uh, future because the world is very, as Bono says, malle- malleable, 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 something like that. All right, let's get out of here. Remember, in pursuit of your dreams, your goals, and everything you want in life, don't just learn, but take action. For the Ask BP Podcast, my name is Brandon, signing off. You've just heard another episode of the Bigger Pockets Ask BP podcast. Submit your question today on Facebook, Twitter, or the Bigger Pockets forum by using hashtag AskBP. And for more incredible real estate investing tools and education, including a free download of our book, The Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Real Estate Investing, head over to biggerpockets.com and sign up for your free account today. We'll see you on the next show.